Come on in. Welcome to my home. I live here with my boyfriend, Jacob, my dog, Rory, and his dog, Maggie. And we currently live in College Station, Texas and pay $665 a month for this apartment. Hey, Max. So this is the living room. It's a really big place. We're really pleased with it, but we are about to move, which is why I'm doing this house tour. Also, it's been extremely requested. A lot of you guys see bits and pieces of the house in the videos, but honestly, it's never been clean enough for me to show the whole thing. So let's come on in. Oh yeah, and if you like this video, don't forget to like it and to subscribe to this channel. That helps a lot. <laughs> okay, so a few things about the house. I was able to move here because I had rats in my old apartment and so I got the complex to move me to another one of their complexes that didn't have rats, which is why it's so cheap here. We are about to move to a new house, a duplex that I am buying on my own. So I will link videos for both of those situations down below. Don't forget to check them out. This is the living room where I spend the majority of my time with my butt right there on that couch. This is an article sofa. I did a partnership with them once and they gifted it to me for the video and I no longer work with them, but I still love it and it's my favorite piece of furniture. Pretty much everything else has been either thrifted or upcycled or painted, so I'll uh, point out some of that stuff as we go. Over here, we have the uh, Stingray Cove because I have a huge, I'm a huge fan of Stingrays and Jacob likes to buy me the little plushies, so, and don't worry, they're not being hurt by the nails. What you guys see in a lot of my videos is the background of all of my books. Big book fan. And then uh, these two chairs, one of which was free, the other of which I bought for $20 on Facebook. So this is one of my favorite DIY upcycles. I will link the video on how I did this in the description box below. So in here we have the living room. I uh, bought the table and chairs off of Facebook Marketplace and completely redid them, which took many years of my life, <laughs> or months at least. Significant amount of plants, <laughs> which I really, really love, and they make me very, very happy. So. A lot of plants kind of outgrew their pots this winter, and I spent three days on my porch. Uh, Jacob helped just kind of moving everything up a pot size. It was quite the adventure. Over here is a new addition <laughs> to my home. I uh, got this little desk off of Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks after quarantine started because I really, really, really needed a place that wasn't my couch to work and take some work calls. I don't know if it's gonna come to the new place with us, but big fan of it for now. Coffee bar, also a big fan of this. I uh, got this for free back in college and I think I might paint it. So tell me below what color you think I should paint it. It's going to become an island in the new house because the kitchen is pretty big there. Here's my espresso maker, which was $5 at a thrift store and all of my coffee stuff. And down here we have the dog feeding section. Here's the kitchen. It is small, but it has done what we needed it to do. I'm actually, this is the first place I've ever had that had a dishwasher, and I am still grateful for that every day, because I've never had a dishwasher in my life before, and those things are freaking miracles. But here we have our pantry, which is currently overstocked with food. This is one of my favorite small space hacks, to hang a door shoe hanger, and then put all of your stuff in there. It's super organized menu board that I post on my Instagram. Follow it, Go Budget Girl, a lot. It has some of the meals we've planned just to help keep us all on the same page. More plants and some thrifted artwork. I did buy this from Target, but these I got at a thrift store and they're also originally from Target and I think it's really fun how much they match. I'm also considering painting an accent wall in the new place in this color because I like it so much. So it's a giant clock I got for $3 at a yard sale. It runs through batteries really fast, but I like it. Here's the master bathroom, which is not attached to the master bedroom, but um, we have a bidet and a squatty potty, which really elevate the lifestyle. I don't know I've talked about it. We also have a rainfall shower head. So if you're looking to upgrade your bathroom life, that's, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> In here we have uh, my filming space and Jacob's office. We've kind of split this room diagonally newest little area of filming that I've set up. I uh, got this chair for $70. Somebody was moving off Marketplace. Little ottoman came from Amazon and it stores a lot of my filming equipment. And this cute little thing was a rusted out mess and I showed how I restored it on my Instagram. It's only 10 bucks. All right, this is Jacob's side of the room. He has a uh, lot of cool stuff. 
all the little like animals and beasties and he's a big gamer so he has his whole setup here and he's also got all of his books. So you realize that I'm not showcasing perfection in any way or anywhere close. This is what I affectionately refer to as the hell closet. <laughs> this is where all the crap goes and I don't know where I put it. I have cleaned this thing out at least three times in the three years that I've lived here and um, there's just no hope for it. <laughs> Everything from Christmas to art to budget roll props to suitcases to camping stuff is in here and uh, it's just doomed. <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully I will find better systems at the new house. <laughs> Another thing that I will never not appreciate, this is the first place that I've ever lived in that had an in-unit washer and dryer. Despite the fact that laundry is just insane, I love having it and I will never not be grateful for this. We're actually going to have to buy a washer and dryer for the new place, the hookups are there, but and I will own my own washer and dryer. So that'll be an adventure, but very glad to have it, not have to go to the laundromat anymore. Let's go to the bedroom. So Rory likes to hang out in here because the puppy is a lot of energy. Um, <laughs> she's an old dog, but this is our bedroom. A lot of you guys have asked me about this furniture set and it was actually my mother's. She got it when she was 16 years old. So I've, carried it with me. I got it when I was about that age and it's really cool. It's survived many, many moves and I just really like it. The decor in here has changed up just a little bit. So since Jacob moved in, we've made some different decor decisions and he is a big fan of peacocks. He used to work with them as his job at Texas A&M. And so we actually have two of these giant peacock paintings. We got one for $20 off of Marketplace and we, when we bought it, we thought it was going to be a small painting for his office and when we got it, it was huge. And then I wanted it. So when we saw another one pop up for sale on Marketplace, he bought it. So we have one at his office where he works and then we have one here now. And if the two ever end up in the house at the same time, I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> I mean, if they faced each other, it would be one thing, but they don't. They're both in the same direction. They're both from Pier 1. However, we spent less than 50 bucks for the pair of them, so tell me what you would do with two giant peacock paintings in the comments below. We also have bedding all came from Hudson's Dirt Cheap when we've gone home to Mississippi to visit my family. Uh, if you've ever been to a Hudson's Dirt Cheap, you'll know what a fun shopping experience that is. And it's huge discounts. Like, it's crazy pants is bathroom number two not much special to it there is one thing that i will not miss about renting and that is the fact that this toilet uh anytime you use it the chain in the back tank gets caught and it'll run forever if you don't reach in and fix it and it's the type of thing where if i own the place i fix it immediately considering that i've lived here for three years i probably should have just gone ahead and fixed it <laughs> instead of letting it annoy me for three years but yeah i won't miss that <laughs> or these pocket doors this is weird, right? It's kind of weird. But here's our closet. It's very large. My stuff's on this side, Jacob's is on the other. More uh, shoe storage on the back for hats and gloves and shoes and stuff. And then I have this giant vintage mirror that Jacob got me for my birthday last year up in Dallas. And we found it at a thrift store and it is just really cool. I've yet to be able to figure out when it is from, but it's a unique piece and a lot of you guys compliment it on my Instagram. Another thing that I'm really going to miss about this place is the giant windows in every room, as you have seen. The new house doesn't have a lot of windows, but that's okay. That's a trade-off. I will own the new place, which is very different. More peacocks. So our bar area has a little less alcohol than it normally does because quarantine. So, oh, that's okay. So, Maggie. Finally, here is the porch. I uh, love this place and I spent the entire day yesterday cleaning it off and out the shed, which was the second area that was a hell closet in the house, but now it's looking a lot better. Another thing that I will miss at the new place, but I've really enjoyed having this out here. And also here's a bird buffet, this is what we call it. And we have lots of squirrels and birds that come to feast. We will miss them and so will Maggie because she likes to try to scare them away and it doesn't work. We do have a grill out here. 
that I got for a really good deal from a neighbor who was moving. I'm not gonna take it out right now, but it is an amazing way to cook. Finally, here's the shed. We will have one of these at the new place. Um, I'm very excited about that. All right, well, that was our house tour. Thank you to Jacob for being the videographer and uh, Maggie for guest starring. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you liked it and also subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see more ways to live a great life on a tiny budget. I make videos every single week. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.